Austin. 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 Wake up, bro. Come on. You good? He was out for a minute. He was twitching and talking in his sleep, bro. Let's go, bro. We got work to do. Get up. Do you know a guy called Austin Godsey? Is he just the average scammer who's trying to get your, I guess it's about $300 money? He's a fraud. His job is to post the most insane lifestyle and tell the most incredibly fake origin story to convince you if he can make it investing in Forex, so can you. I've looked at his Instagram for years and find it almost satire. What makes it sad is how many people fall for it. Maybe I'm too old and they're all young, but it's laughable. Investing isn't easy and I wouldn't really call it passive. It takes a lot of research and knowledge to know where to invest, when to get in and pull out. Some people get lucky by taking advice off of Reddit like GameStop, but you can also read stories of people who've destroyed their life. Don't trust some dork with fake designer shit and face tattoos telling you he'll make you earn six figures in less than a year. The power of image. With social media, how others perceive you has become something you can completely control. You can carefully craft and compose your own image, and you can use this carefully crafted image to deceive and to hurt others. A wolf in sheep's clothing. You can even use this image to scam, deceive, and manipulate kids. You can make them relate to you and also admire you. And you can do it all for personal gain while hiding a much darker truth. The sad truth of who you really are. People say, I don't have the money. If you don't have the money, that's why you should join the company. If you don't have time, that's why you should join the company. Guys, you're gonna make more than $15 a month off this product. No guarantees, no income payments, but that's just a fact. I, I saw that need um, in our society, you know, right now with a lot of people going out there just not really knowing what to do when they come out of high school and so on and so forth. Let's expose a scammer. But not just your average blatant scammer, or your run-of-the-mill MLM rep roped in by their manipulative upline, making pennies and spouting absolutely ridiculous things on social media. Instead, today, let's expose a good scammer. Austin Godsey is what one could call the definition of a 21st century snake oil salesman, roping college and even high school kids into a pyramid scheme, preying on their interests and carefully navigating the the ways in which he goes about his deception. And the worst part? One could say for a long time he's been really, really good at it. The story of Austin unpacks the psyche of many scammers. The rags to riches storytelling, the lies and fake persona, the charisma and friendly attitude that ropes you in, all just to take from you. So in today's video, I'm gonna try and unpack everything that is Austin Godsey. Ever since my video on Forex scams, when I first stumbled upon Austin Godsey, there's something about this youth pastor peep wannabe that has just stuck in my mind. Maybe it was his quality YouTube content. The best video that I came across, just pure gold, is from this one distributor, someone who looks very similar to Lil Peep. To convey how big of a market iMarkets Live is, he shows all of these different liquids, and by the end of the video, he's just sitting in a room full of liquid, and it is amazing. You know, it doesn't matter if you're broke. Years ago when I saw this information, I didn't have money. But it's not a lack of money that inhibits you, it's a lack of motivation. So I decided to fuel my curiosity and dive a little bit deeper into Austin Godsey and who he really is. And boy, is there a lot more than meets the eye. I want to shout out Always Marco, who's a YouTuber on here that did a deep dive into I Am Academy. I'll link his two YouTube videos on I Am Academy down below so that you can check those out. And before we get into this video, if you like this video, then give it a like if you want to. And if you like this type of content, don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. So who is Austin exactly? Austin Austin Godsey is an MLM rep. The business that it really came up in was, you know, network marketing. I know a lot of people have like a nomenclature and a, stig a stigma around it. It's being a, a pyramid scheme or a scam. Um, and I feel like people that 
call things scams. They don't really understand what it is. Yeah. They have a lack of education. I feel like scam, S-C-A-M, stands for still confused about money mm. or still cooking at McDonald's, whatever it may be. So get back to your upline if you haven't already, guys. Get back to your upline. That is pretty much all he is. But he is a high-ranking rep of IM Academy. The company that I got involved in was 4X Education, the current education. Um, currently, right now, our, our company has almost 100,000 customers. My team doing over 10,000. Uh, customers, eight figures in revenue. And he's definitely been able to brand himself as the not like other MLM reps of MLM reps. Before we can understand Austin Godsey and some of his more sinister aspects, we have to understand the scam that he's selling. So what is Forex? Luckily, I had an opportunity to sit down with a YouTuber on here called Trader Nick, who's more versed in the trading world and was able to answer some questions I had. Forex is short for foreign exchange. People also call it currency trading. There's all different names for it. But the main idea is you are actually trading currencies relative to each other. So you've got the euro, you've got the Great British Pound, you've got the US dollar. And uh, in one way or another, it impacts all of our lives because we all have money in some sort of currency. Forex is like stock trading, but instead of trading stocks of various companies, you're trading foreign currencies based on the currency currencies usually minor fluctuations. What is Forex? You buy a certain amount of currency, hold on to it while the exchange rate moves, then change it back, making money along the way. Forex by itself is not a scam. Most people, when they hear Forex, they think scam. Scam, S-C-A-M, stands for still confused about money mm. or still cooking at McDonald's. Because most people who are introduced to Forex usually come through da -da -da -da, a MLM. Who here ever had a hater in network marketing? Someone who said it's not gonna work, too good to be true, you're not gonna make money in those things. A bunch of my friends would, no, it's a scam. You know what I would say? A scam? Scam, S-C-A-M? Oh, you're still chilling at moms. So there's a lot of MLMs, which by the way, is like the worst combination you could ever have ever, because in trading, most people lose money, and MLMs, a gross amount of people lose money. So when you combine the two, it's like clashing like the two worst people in the room and into one person. It just makes them worse. The stock market is a mix of elusive and complex, and it's fascinated particularly young people for quite some time, mainly for its ability to make a select few very, very rich. And for decades, scammers have profited off of stock market scams through preying on people's desires to get rich off of the stock market. What do you think about the prevalence of stock market scams, especially nowadays? I, I remember when I first started getting into like stocks and, and trading and investing, um, it wasn't really like the cool thing to do, but now it is. Some good things come with that because like there's a there's honestly a, a good thing like about getting people involved in learning to invest and learning to manage their money. And there, there's that good side that comes with everybody being interested in this stuff. But then there's also the negative side where it is ripe for scams and for people getting taken advantage of. But here's what I will say on this subject. We like my, my team and I that we put out a lot of content around this stuff. And our goal is to give out probably 95% of what we do for free, not holding back anything about what we know. That's what we do. We create content for free, educational material, informational material, coverage on what's going on in the world. And I know a lot of other creators who do stuff like that. So just knowing that you don't need to go buy expensive stuff. I didn't pay for anything and I learned what I know, which I don't know everything, but I know enough to feel like I get by. So if I can do that, so can you at home. Enter I Am Academy. Now I want you guys to think about I Am Mastery Academy like an extremely prestigious university. The Yale of trading or the Harvard of Forex, right? We don't touch your money. We don't take investments, right? We're an educational platform that's gonna teach you how to do that on your own. And, and, and just like any other prestigious university, there's a tuition, right? So in order to get started here, it's 234 initial investment, 175 a month. But as promised, you guys are gonna learn how to get this thing for free. You see, in order to receive a tuition-free scholarship here within I Am Mastery Academy, you introduce the concept to two people. They get started here, they become your accountability partner, that monthly subscription is now waiting. How is this not a pyramid scheme? I Am Academy is an MLM that preys on people's desire to get rich off of the stock market through selling them overpriced Forex trading courses. To get involved, simple. It is $195 to join the company. People say, well, well why, why, why can't I just go learn it online? Or why can't I just 
go learn from somebody else. If you try to go learn Forex, it will cost you thousands, if not tens of thousands of dollars. People say, I don't have the money. If you don't have the money, that's why you should join the company. Well, I don't have time. If you don't have time, that's why you should join the company. And I think it's crazy that people say, well, I don't have the money. I don't have $200. If you don't have $200 to invest in an opportunity that could change your life and you've been working at the same job for a year, two years, five years, that's the real scam to me. $15 a month. Guys, you're going to make more than $15 a month off this product. No guarantees, no income claims, but that's just a fact. So it's basically all the buzzword scams out there. It's an MLM company or a pyramid shaped company. It's a get rich quick course, basically, that they're selling to people. And it subtly promises riches off of making money off of the stock market. So kind of all of those scammy things roped into one. So That's how it. do you feel about I am Academy itself? I get messages in my DM just because I am a person in this space and I share content. I get a lot of people who DM asking me, you know, what about I, I am Academy or, or IML or whatever they're going by nowadays. Everybody I know personally who has dealt with them has gotten stung pretty bad. Forex and just trading in general has a very, very low win rate, very similar to MLMs. When you combine, I'm not, a, I'm not a mathematician, but when you take a very low probability plus another very low probability, that's terrible probability. So when you combine the two, it's just, it's just scary because you're talking about something where people inevitably, you know, almost certainly fail in, in multi-level marketing and you combine it with Forex. Most people who get involved with trading, they lose money for at least a year, two years, maybe even longer. And so you're losing money from trading. If you're, if you're really trying to get into it, cause there are mistakes, there are issues that every beginner makes, then you're paying for the membership and you're struggling, you're spending a bunch of your, you know, your opportunity cost of, I could just go get a job and make money. I'm spending all this time trying to recruit people instead. That, that also kind of points out the fact that you have to split up your time into two, once again, very low yes. probability or low success rate things in MLM and Forex. And so how are you gonna, you know, be able to really be truly successful at either of them? A few months ago, I did a deep dive on I Am Academy and its founder, Chris Terry. But the most important things to know about I Am Academy is the company has gone under fire numerous times and changed its name due to so much bad publicity that it was getting. I'm, I'm about to kick you out. I Am Academy was once called iMarkets Live. The company is also known for targeting college kids, primarily black college students, off of promises of making it rich off the stock market. They're not really here for you to leave the company and grow as a trader. They're not here for that. They're here for college students that are broke as fuck. They're here for poor people. iMarkets Live target all the colleges around uh, United States. They just went to like almost all the black colleges. I'm gonna be honest. They went to all the HBCUs down south. They went to my college. They went to and they went to so many colleges, right? And then they start growing. There are a lot of college students who are well-versed in stock markets and trading, but it is something that a lot of college students are known to be interested in, which kind of makes college students the perfect demographic to prey upon with a stock market pyramid scheme. What questions would you kind of suggest people ask if they're being recruited by someone for a Forex MLM, telling them, oh, I'm making all this money on Forex and you should, you know, buy my course or, you know, uh, join my team. I would ask them probably two main questions. The first one is what are they teaching you in there that's not on YouTube, first of all, because hit me up. I got videos, <laughs> self, self shout out or whatever, yeah. no, I'm kidding. but there's, there's lots of great creators. So like, first thing I would tell them to ask is like, what are you learning in there? That is really that unique. The other question I would probably ask is like, can you show me your account? Like, if you're really my friend, like show me how things are going. And you know, a lot of these people, they don't show real results. They don't, they'll show you screenshots, but you can't trust screenshots. I'll say like, honestly, the only thing to really trust uh, is probably like a track record or broker statements. Those are the things to look at and they will never show you those things. People, people in the industry who really trade usually will show you that. Um, I've put up my track record. It's not the most, it's not like it's going to be like the most amazing, beautiful thing ever, but it's real. And you know, that's what I think is, is valuable, but you won't get that when talking to people in IM, they'll tell you about, you know, how much so-and-so is making, but they'll never talk about how much they are actually making, uh, in the business.
A comment on I Am Academy posted on truthinadvertising.org reads, Forex isn't something new, yet these guys are charging $185 per month just for training that you can easily get for free on YouTube. It's a complete ripoff. I got invited to a meeting and when I asked where are the headquarters, they literally told me they don't have an actual office, that the owner runs the company remotely from his hotel room in Las Vegas. One of those distributors Distributors is Austin Godsey. Top leader and rank, his rank chairman is 50. Oh, by the way, it's impossible to hit that rank just trading Forex. You must recruit. Yet they're selling people the fake dream that the big bucks come from trading, not recruiting. If you research most IML reps, they are pretty much doing the exact same thing Vima distributors did with social media, leading with hype. They also started a movement just like Vima's YPR, aka Young People Revolution, called GV, aka Global Visionaires. Just look them up on Facebook and YouTube. This company is misleading to the public and it's likely to be a scam. There's not much that you can find on the company or brand Global Visionaires. It seems that Global Visionaires is a front of sorts for I Am Academy to make it sound cooler and also more professional. It's very clear that Austin is either behind Global Visionaires completely or is at least very involved since all of Austin's videos are branded with the Global Visionaires logo and all of the Global Visionaire videos on their website are through Austin's YouTube channel. I believe that Global Visionaires was created as a way to make the MLM seem more legit, as if it's Austin's own company that he's running and not part of this larger MLM company, so that when he presents people with an opportunity through Global Visionaires, it's not as easy to look up Global Visionaires and find red flags. There's also Reddit testimonials about Global Visionaires. There's one post that was posted five years ago called Global Visionaires and IML, My 30 Days experience where the user says, to summarize my experience with the quote unquote product, it is 99.9% .9 stalling and wasting your time with crap like this and hyping up their own products. Dudes acting like what and showing phone screens with profits. Do yourself a favor and unfriend anyone who tries to sell you this shit because they are not your friend and they view you as a $35 a month paycheck if you sign up. I was curious about Global Visionaires, so I looked into it and found globalvisionaires.org. There's very, very little information on this website, practically no information on who created the website or who created Global Visionaires. The other two pages on the site, besides the homepage, are hidden and you need a password to view them, which is something that Austin Godsey seems to be fairly good at. He Keeping things hidden, deleting things that might cross the legal line, and covering his tracks. He gives enough information on all of his social medias to hook you in and keep you interested, but not enough information to reveal what's really going on and what he's trying to sell you. What are people's favorite radio stations? W-I-I-F-M. What's in it for me? I'm not talking about one of the five words. I'm not talking about network marketing. I'm not talking about business. I'm not talking about opportunity. I'm not talking about Forex. And I'm not talking about money. I keep it short and simple. K-I-S-S. -S, keep it super simple. Because if any of these I Am Academy guys were up front and told you that all they're doing is selling people courses on how to trade Forex, would that really be that exciting or that interesting? Who would be that excited about selling a course? If you think about it, it's kind of lame. So that's Forex Trading and I Am Academy, though recently Austin has also been posting a lot about cryptocurrency. So you look at cryptocurrency. You know, I know all of us have probably heard of Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple. You know, what is this cryptocurrency wave? So guys, this is digital currency markets and it's becoming one of the you know most globally known trends and a global form of accepted currency. You went from homeless to creating a multi-million dollar business for yourself and the life you loved. Congratulations, first of all. What an incredible story. Would you take us back to the beginning? 
I was homeless, warrants for my arrest, high school dropout, worked at McDonald's, Outback Steakhouse. There's been quite a few articles that have reported the rags to riches story of Austin Godsey. You know, when I first started this business, guys, guys, I went to 13 schools in 12 years. I grew up with a single mom. I was a high school dropout. I was in and out of jail. Guys, I was working at McDonald's, Outback Steakhouse as a busboy. I was homeless, living in my car, a 2001 Volvo, with my girlfriend eight months pregnant when I heard about this business. From homeless to multimillionaire, Austin Godsey's secrets. In two years, Austin Godsey went from living on the streets to becoming a multimillionaire. From troubled beginnings to now guiding thousands of people in Forex trading, Godsey harnessed the power of network marketing to make his own mark on the world. Austin Godsey is home for business top 100 earners. He went from homeless to millionaire in two years and has built one of the largest youth movements in the entire industry of network marketing. Marketing. Getting the youth into network marketing. Exactly what the world needs. Gotzi has helped tens of thousands of people profit in the Forex markets and has helped 30 plus people hit a six figure income. Gotzi has spoke in front of tens of thousands of people in the pasty two years. He is young and just getting started. I travel the world speaking at events filled with hundreds of thousands of people, teaching the success of utilizing the various strategies I've used in business. I'm one of the most sought after youth marketers in the game right now, serving a greater purpose knowing it doesn't matter how much money you take to the grave. It's about how many people show up to your funeral because you made an impact on their life. Austin Godsey, who was born to a single mother in a city called Lancaster, grew up in extreme poverty. His constant switching of schools, 13 schools in 12 years, made his life even more unstable. The last nail in the coffin for Godsey was when his girlfriend got pregnant and they were still living in his 2009 Volvo. It was terrible. That was four years ago with no job, no income, no credit, no nothing. It all changed when a friend of mine introduced me to network marketing and I got involved and never looked back. I dropped out of high school and, um, you know, struggled for years. And then a friend of mine actually introduced me to it. I saw him making some money off of his smartphone and um, he looked at me and he told me, if you're not making money off your smartphone, then it's a dumb phone. I was homeless when I heard about network marketing, and I was watching videos of this kid named Alex Morton while living in the back of my car during the winter with my eight-month pregnant girlfriend. My friends laughed at me when I talked about making 100k a year. I called them back years later when I was earning that per month. Starting small and hoping to make only a few extra dollars that would help him make ends meet as his baby was on the way, Austin never expected that his achievements would succumb to what they have now, to the present day. Currently, Austin operates a team of 13,000 customers across the globe, teaching them how to trade Forex and cryptocurrencies through his platform. As Austin Godsey says, I laser focus and get locked into my goals and eliminate everything else that can be a distraction. Anything or anyone negative in my life for the past four years has got the boot had to go. Austin's history, as well as his history with MLMs, is not as simple as he portrays it to be. It seems that back in 2014, Austin promoted an MLM called Wake Up Now, which was shut down. I was in San Diego, I go out there, and the company I was a part of literally shut down the very first week I moved there, and we stopped getting paid. I feel like my confidence level might have transitioned to cockiness and I lost it all. I actually lost my whole entire business. I built a multi-million dollar business, lost it completely, had to come back and rebuild it from scratch again. Then in a podcast, Austin claims he made a million off of a V drink, which seems to be Austin insinuating that he was a Vima distributor, another MLM company that got shut down. My boy hands me an energy drink. And he's like, bro, which one? The V, oh, the V word, wow. not Vima. I mean, bro, that's where I made Wait, Vima? my M's. Vima? Yeah. The Vima connection does make sense considering I Am Academy has a lot of connections with former Vima reps. But the story that Austin claims is that he went from homeless to millionaire pretty much through trading Forex. But is it even possible to do that with Forex trading? Nick sent me some information that shows projection breakdowns 
where he shows that for Austin to have turned $1,000, which is more than Austin even claims to have started with, to at least $1 million before taxes, he would have had to generate roughly 300% per year, which is better returns than almost any professional money manager in the world. So is it even possible to go from homeless to a multi-millionaire through trading Forex and starting with very, very little money? The likelihood of that is pretty much impossible unless you are the best money manager in the world. That concept of starting from having nothing, when it comes to trading, you don't get to make money if you don't have money. That's an unpopular opinion, but I'm not going to I'm not going to like fake it or whatever. Yeah. Um like the truth is if you don't have a lot of money and you are trading, you're not going to make a lot of money. It's just like any other business, it takes money to make money. When it comes to forex, if you have $100 to your name, to trade with it is simply not enough like like for me a, a good yearly return would be 20 percent. that'd be great that'd be a really great return if i spent a lot of time it's an unpopular opinion because I, I get a lot of flack on my channel for that people are like you can make 100 percent or whatnot but for me it's realistic if I shoot that number, it's sustainable it's you know yeah. it's not yeah <laughs> Well, because yeah. I'm also, you know, I'm not trying to like stress myself out and see my money go all over the place. Like I'm trying to be semi-conservative with it. So um, when you hear these these people who are like, I came from nothing and then I made a ton of money from Forex, you definitely did not. Like mathematically, that's not how compounding works, you know? So so that rags riches, it definitely came from recruiting people. It definitely came from uh, the other side. So there are many, many holes in Austin's story and a lot of things that just don't add up, which leads me to believe that much of it is a lie. But why would this guy lie? Why would he claim he went from homeless to millionaire in two years if it's not true? What reason would he have to tell this bizarre rags to riches story? Though at first glance, Austin's story seems very inspiring. When you kind of look into it, it kind of sounds like someone preyed on Austin when he was at his most vulnerable in life. Austin's story works so well because it's that rags to riches story that everyone can relate to in some capacity. But let's actually look at how much money most people end up making in I Am Academy. The people that make under $500 with an average 12 month earning of $165 and a median 12 month earning of $137 is approximately 68% of people. The amount of reps that make $500 to $1,500 with an average 12-month earning of $870 and a median 12-month earning of $800 is 17%. Then you have around 10% making $1,500 to $5,000 and then only 3% making $5,000 to $10,000 still less than minimum wage, less than 2% making $10,000 to $25,000, with the average of $14,951 still less than minimum wage, and then less than 1% of reps make more than minimum wage in I Am Academy. Less than 1% make more than minimum wage. And the thing is, this isn't even including the monthly costs that you have to put into I Am Academy. So let's reimagine Austin's story and put it a little bit more into context. When Austin was homeless, at his most vulnerable, desperate to make money because his girlfriend was pregnant, in and out of jail, in trouble, someone recruited him into an MLM company at that time. Which means that this friend of his asked him to put money into an MLM company where less than 1% of people make more than minimum wage. My boy hands me an energy drink. I drank it and I'm like, bro, this tastes weird. He said, because you've never tasted money before. I said, bro, shut up. <laughs> don't talk to me about it. I told him, no, don't talk to me again. This kid was so persistent. Can you imagine? This kid put my name on a piece of paper. I was homeless, warned from my arrest, high school dropout, worked at McDonald's, Outback Steakhouse. You're a victim. Mm. Here we go, CSI. And this was a good thing? 
Don't get me wrong, I'm glad it worked out for Austin, but literally for 99% of people, it will not work out that way. And when they're at their most vulnerable and struggling, they will also end up being roped into something where they end up losing money, AKA something that I like to call a scam. Like even though it worked out for Austin, imagine how many other people at their most vulnerable in life who are struggling were told that same rags to riches story or promise of rags to riches only to end up losing money and get in an even worse situation than when they started. Imagine how many poor or possibly homeless people have been targeted like this by IM Academy reps. Or better yet, imagine how many vulnerable struggling people Austin himself has targeted by telling them this story of his as a way to say, see, I did it too. That means that you can. Even though he already knows that there's an oversaturation of IM Academy reps and that none of the people that he's recruiting will be able to get to the status that he's currently at. Austin also speaks at a ton of motivational MLM conferences and self-proclaims that he's one of the most sought after youth marketers in the game right now. This event doesn't matter. I could care less about this event. He's branded himself as the cool, young, and hip MLM rep. And while that doesn't really leave much room for the imagination to guess what age demographic Austin Godsey targets. So what's the problem with targeting kids and young adults? Well, I'll answer considering I'm sort of one of them. And that's that we're stupid. Not all the time, but a lot of times we're stupid. I've seen a lot of Gen Zers primarily talking about how much of a problem it is that their schools never really taught them much about finance. Things like taxes, saving, and investing seem to be things that you learn maybe a little bit about through college, but mostly after college when you're fully out and in the real world. Unless you grew up around family and parents who had knowledge in these things and taught you about these things growing up, you're not likely to know much about the stock market. So when someone presents you with a way to get rich off of the stock market, you're not always going to be able to tell as easily that it's a scam, which is why I'm personally willing to bet serious money that the people that are buying into these random pump and dub cryptocurrency schemes are all kind of high school to college age, aka kids, basically. The same kids who idolized Wolf of Wall Street and don't really understand why pump and dump schemes are bad or dangerous or even what pump and dump schemes are. So they're getting roped into literally hundreds of them right now as we speak. I put my entire net worth into, into chode coin because my favorite fitness influencer told me it would go to the moon and it went to zero. And Austin Godsey knows this about his targeted demographic, which is why he posts about crypto by into the hype and is very active on social media. Austin has a pretty large following on social media too, with fairly decent engagement. Usually when people buy their followers, their follow number will be different than their engagement number, but he seems to have a fairly consistent engagement number. So either he genuinely built up a pretty strong social media presence, or he's buying followers, likes, and comments, which is quite a bit and uh, would be very funny if he was doing that. So for now, we'll just assume that he's not doing that and that he has a fairly authentic following. And if that's the case, then Austin seems to know what his audience wants to see, which is apparently not any real, obtainable, valuable information on trading. It's more like, look at me in a city, look at me on a plane, look at me with my girlfriend, and this fancy bag placed slightly off to the side, but I definitely made sure that you could still see that I had this expensive bag. Even on his Instagram highlights for trading, there's not really any actual trading information. It's all random numbers and look at me hustle. Whereas if you go to someone like Trader Nick's page, you can see that he's actually giving pertinent, valuable information on the practice of trading. But you mean to tell me Austin is the one selling courses? The dude that's giving no information on trading that can actually be valuable is the one selling trading courses? interesting. On YouTube is where you can actually find most of Austin's educational content. And I say educational 
very lightly very lightly. So um, let's look at some videos of his and see how much we can learn about whatever it is that he does. I fall asleep every night to an old man's voice. And show you that this represents two trillion dollars per day. This is two and a half trillion dollars per day traded within the foreign exchange market, leaving it at a 6.6 .6 trillion dollar per day market. This company will become a multi-billion dollar platform with or without us. The only question is, will you be a part of it? <sighs> when I would work at McDonald's, I had to learn the system. Before I started getting paid my real money, I had to learn their learning, their demo. Now we go live, I tell them, our goal this month, month three, we're getting you a withdrawal from your account. You've already gone through the IML TV, you've already gone through the IML Academy, and now we're using all the other products. I'm like, Matt, there's a purple donkey in my bathroom. He's gonna be like, wait, there's a purple donkey in Austin's bathroom right now. Embrace your haters. Haters simply means having anger towards everyone reaching success. You know, you know, maybe in a year or in a month, I'm gonna be, you know, the, you know, I'm gonna build a little bit and talk to some people, and I'm gonna do this, and that, that's not gonna work. I'm not making money in this thing yet, but if I help two of my friends want to do this thing with me, I break even, and I'm committed to doing this thing for one year. So I'm gonna give this a shot, and I really encourage you to too because you heard it from me, and you know I'm not gonna put you in a position to fail. And what I also saw is if you do this and you fail, you not only hold me back, but you're also wasting my time. On Austin's Instagram posts, he rarely has an income disclosure, something network marketers are kind of supposed to have, like legally. So why doesn't Austin have one? Instead of telling you how much he's making, he shows you, shows you how much he's making through photos that are supposed to show this wealthy lifestyle. So he never really has to make an income disclosure statement because rarely does he say how much income he's actually making. Instead, he performs his success on Instagram with flashy photos that are supposed to inspire you and make you believe that he's all that. He visually shows you the illusion of how successful he is and leaves you to draw the conclusion of how much he's making. Austin Godsey has made inappropriate income claims in the past past and has gotten in trouble for it, hence why he no longer makes those same mistakes. Godsey removed several posts containing inappropriate income claims along with the phrase seven-figure earner from an Instagram account at work with Austin Godsey that he hasn't posted on since March of 2018. But Godsey continues to show off an extravagant lifestyle and insinuate that he's making a lot of money through Forex trading and IM Academy. Austin also apparently enrolled his five-year-old son as a distributor in violation of section 2.2 of IML's policies and procedures, which states that applicants must be 18 or older. Godsey announced that his young son cracked the Chairman 100 in an Instagram post that included a photo of dad sitting next to IML CEO Christopher Terry. Austin says Aiden, his son, is smashing Chairman 100 at five years old. Guys, 500 customers on your team and you're earning $10,000 per month. Guys, my son's five years old and he hit Chairman 10 in his first 90 days. And I'm not saying that to brag or boast, but I'm saying that to brag or boast. There's also an archived post posted on truthinadvertising.org where Austin makes a lot of income claims. The post reads, and just like that, we in Madrid, Spain. I'm so happy and grateful now that GV has 37 chairmen in the world, which is his quote unquote company, Global Visionaires. I'm serving at least 7,300 clients on Social Blur, and there's no competition for Instagram marketing companies at all. There's only one article I could find on Social Blur, and it seems to be an Instagram agency slash marketing company that Austin Godsey created where people pay him money to grow their Instagram. Taking that into account, you have to wonder how much of an authentic following Austin Godsey has since part of one of his businesses is to portray that he can help you get lots of Instagram followers. I've traveled to 50 plus countries and Aiden has traveled to 20 plus. Once again, a five-year-old traveling 20 plus countries sounds like a lot, but you know, Aiden, AKA his son, has Chairman 25. I've enrolled over 1,000 plus customers in IML through my career. I've cleared 3 million in my career in IML, AKA an income claim. My book, The Blueprint, has released and sold over 12,000 plus copies and gone bestseller. Which, by the way, I looked into his 
book, The Blueprint, and it doesn't seem it's being sold anymore, and there are zero reviews on any book selling platforms. The only income disclosure I've seen personally from him is on his Instagram stories whenever he shows those random number screens, and it's always something silly like, Results typical. Don't be typical. Results not typical. Previous profits don't determine future earnings. We don't guarantee results and it takes hard work and dedication. Not for the lazy. In super small letters. In super super small text. Income disclosure. Previous profits don't determine future earnings. Must put in work to see results. Extremely small text. We do not guarantee any results or income. Previous profits don't determine future earnings. The biggest problem with almost all I Am Academy reps is that most of them subtly insinuate, if not outright claim, that they gained their riches off of Forex trading. Because their MLM company is selling a Forex trading course, they can't recruit people unless the product they're selling also works. Because if the product is useless, doesn't work, and isn't even valuable, then the only purpose that their company has is for recruitment, aka they're running an illegal pyramid scheme. So they have to act like they're successful off of Forex trading too, because that's an aspect of the company. But are they as successful at Forex trading as they claim? You know, there's a lot of the the top reps or the top 50 reps of I Am Academy that, you know, really show that life of, oh, I'm living the high life. I'm super, super rich. And they've been doing it for a long time. Do you think they really are making as much as they portray themselves to be making through Forex trading? Uh, so, no. Uh, definitely no, because so so I have a business where I have a YouTube channel. Obviously, we have some sponsorships with like TradingView.com, which is a really popular like trading platform. And I've said this in my own channel, like I make more money from the business side than my own trading. And that's, you know, just the truth. I, I try and just keep it real on my channel. And I can tell you from if I'm doing that, I know that they are the same way. Now, you can still make money in trading. And even if those top people are great at trading, which is unlikely, but like if, if possible, even if we assume the best about them and that they are great traders, they're probably not making all of it from trading. And again, there's not really like anything wrong with that. If you have like multiple in, multiple sources of income, that's cool. But it's different when you're when you're like, selling people the idea that you're making a lot of money from trading when you are not. You're essentially selling somebody something that you're not even doing yourself. Like, a lie. Yeah, you're selling a lie for sure. Another huge part of Austin's persona is his faith and religion. Hence the Lil Peep turned youth pastor vibes. Before the interview, we asked you know a little bit about titles and stuff and you said, I'm a child of God. Yeah. So clearly your faith has played into all this. Tell us a little bit about that. You know, there, there, there is a higher power. Um, I do believe in God. I do believe that in the universe. God bless. And honestly, I'm not here to question anybody's religion or faith or spirituality. If you feel like you found God and that's what's helped you, more power to you. I applaud you for trying to better your life and live by a moral code. But... But if you're using this God first persona to manipulate people through trying to convince them that because you believe in God and you put God first, that must mean that you live by a moral code and therefore would never scam or manipulate people or take their money. If you're using that persona as a facade, as a way to appear harmless and let people's guard down, well, according to your own beliefs, I think we both know Know where you're going. It also looks like in a few YouTube videos, Austin Godsey has also kind of exploited his mom's death or talked about it as if it's like some inspiration for him to continue in Forex. And watching those videos just left a really bad taste in my mouth. Doctors called me the morning, an hour before I spoke, and told me that you fell into a coma. Not knowing that was the last time I'd ever speak to you again. I left convention early and flew back to see you spoke at another event i had committed to i kept on the tour i was on i was a coward i couldn't sit and watch you die so i kept running i missed so many birthdays and holidays i can't even count because when you go chairman you can live every day like a freaking birthday or holiday my first year in the industry i missed my rank by one person and mommy and i got evicted and had nowhere to go 
I was homeless when I heard about network marketing and I was watching videos of this kid named Alex Morton while living in the back of my car during the winter with my eight month pregnant girlfriend. My friends laughed at me when I talked about making 100K a year. I called them back years later when I was earning that per month. And uh, remember in those articles when Austin mentioned how he'd been arrested a bunch? Well, you guessed it, that's not the full story. And that's not something that he reserved just for the past self. And before I mention this, I do want to put a trigger warning. This does deal with the topic of SA. On March 6th of 2020, Austin was arrested in South Florida, Miami-Dade jurisdiction for battery slash threaten bench warrant safety equipment requirement vessel registration certification not on board you can also find other arrests dating back further and further but this arrest was definitely the one that concerned me the most first off because of how recent it was and second off because of the first category of arrests reason for arrest um yeah that's concerning for obvious reasons. And overall, just not very positive and godly of you, Austin. So who is the real Austin? Well, after making it this far in the video, I hope we all know, or at least have a clear picture on who Austin is. In my opinion, Austin is a wolf in sheep's clothing, carefully constructing his image to prey on young people and making money off of being a snake oil salesman. People like Austin, well, their time always ends up running out. Eventually, they will get caught or the scam will run its course, but not before hurting people in the process. My greatest regrets for sure is losing people money. Absolutely. If I could have done, if people say, would you change anything? I said, I just wouldn't lose people money. What would you say to the victims? <sighs> wow, well, first, of course, I'm sorry for what happened and um, that not a day goes by in my own life where you know, I in some way don't pay for it. So if you or anyone you know feels that they have been scammed by Austin Godsey, I'll be leaving a link to the FTC report page down below so that you can report your specific instance with Austin. And that is all for today's video. If you've made it this far in the video, comment a wolf emoji or hashtag Forex fraud. And I'll see you soon. Bye.